This segment is powered by The Gun Store. Want to shoot a real machine gun? Then visit The Gun Store at 2900 East Tropicana in Las Vegas. What's up, guys? Dave Ferrer for MMA 30, hanging out with Gray the Bully Maynard after the big fight at UFC 125. And uh, you're drinking beer, even though right now it's, uh, uh, it's just 9 o'clock in the morning. And? Yes. That's my part of training, you know? You put protein in some beer. Yeah. Wake up. No, no, no. Wake up, put some protein in the beer, <laughs> and uh, get ready for the day. As of late, there's been a lot of talk about MMA judging and a lot of people complaining about mixed martial arts judging. Uh, with what happened at UFC 125, do you feel like the judges got it wrong? Or are you now one of those people in the camp that says, you know what, we need to maybe work on MMA judging a little bit? You know what? I'm never one to point the finger. I, I'm just not that guy. Um, I mean, I felt like I won the fight. He felt like he won the fight. The judges called it a draw, and I couldn't understand that. I watched the fight again, um, it, it, and there was a lot of close rounds. There was one round that was definitely not close, but there was a lot of co close ones, and um, and uh, yeah, I'm, ju I'm just really, really happy that I get to do it again. Well, the first round definitely went your way. What was it like in that first round at UFC 125 when you just had him completely rocked? He was doing the thing where he's flying across the, the octagon. His arms were flailing all over the place. What was going through your head at that point? Uh, I thought I'm, I'm the UFC champ in the first round. You know, it's, it's, it's done because, uh, you know, when you're in the cage, I watched it on tape, and I, I thought, like, I thought, ah, he doesn't look as bad as he did when I was in the cage, you know? Because he looked really bad in the cage. <laughs> I mean, I, there was times he was walking up against the fence, like, using the fence to hold him up. And, uh, you know, I really thought that he was done. Randy Couture was getting pretty vocal with you at a couple of points in the corner. Uh, very rarely do we hear uh, Randy dropping the F-bomb, but, uh, you know, he got, he got pretty serious with you there in the corner saying, you know what, stop headhunting. You're looking for that big shot. Were you surprised that Randy was being so direct in the corner that night? Um, it woke me up. It did, but uh, it's a title fight, you know, and that kind of snapped me back into it potential rematch with Frank Yeager is being talked about. You said it's not done yet, but uh, possibly Memorial Day weekend here in Las Vegas. If that does come together, is that a fight that you want? Is UFC 130 in Las Vegas at the top of your list as to here's where I want to fight and when? Oh, of course. This is my hometown, so um, if I could get that fight, that would be that would be excellent. You know, um, uh, I definitely want to go up against him again. He's a tough kid. He's actually a good guy too. I really, I, I, you know, I think he's a good guy, and uh, uh, it's just fun to fight him. It really is. It's a good time. You know, I, I like the fact that 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 he's not another lefty. <laughs> After the uh, the main event of UFC 125, they actually announced that uh, that Anthony Pettis was going to get the next shot at the UFC title, and then they ended up changing their mind, and Dana kind of swooped in and said that, you know, in the UFC, we do the right thing, and this is the right thing to do. Uh, you mentioned that it was a complete roller coaster of emotions, but what was it like at the press conference when you got the news that Pettis was going to be getting the next title shot? You know, I just, I just thought I blew it. You know, I said, why did you leave it to a draw? Um, you know, even though I've beaten him, and then I thought I beat him again, like, I, I, you know, I just really got down on, on me, but at the time, at the press conference, you know, I just thought, like, all right, <laughs> don't break out in tears, because there's so many people here. Well, take us back to the other end of the roller coaster, then. Uh, Dana White tells you that you are going to get another shot at Frankie Edgar. How did that happen? Did, did he call you into an office somewhere? Where, where did that all take place? No, I was actually in my hotel room on my couch um, and uh, just feeling a, a little bit down. And uh, um, I get a text from a reporter. Uh, and he's like, Dana just said you got the title shot. I'm like, yeah, right. He doesn't know. Whatever. You know, and then I, I get a call, you know, I get a text, Dana, and he's like, call me. So I called him, there's no answer, and then uh, he's like, fuck, <laughs> call me back. <laughs> 
so I called him back and he's like, hey, I just did an interview, you know, I thought about it and you get the title shot, you know, and I just, I mean, it's my boss, but I was like, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I told Dana I loved him. What did he say? <laughs> it was just silence for a second. <laughs> I like I love you. <laughs> That's hilarious. So Dana White actually said, "Look, in the UFC, we do the right thing, and this is the right thing." And I think that the fans had a big part in, in kind of the uproar whenever it first got announced that you weren't going to get another shot because everyone wants to see the trilogy. Uh, but really delighted for you that this is actually happening. Uh, looks like potentially May 30th here in Las Vegas Memorial Day weekend. That May 28th, excuse me, uh, UFC 130 happening here in Las Vegas. So really looking forward to the rematch, of course. Uh, final question for you. If you have one thing at the top of your list of things that I'm going to do differently in the trilogy fight with Frankie Edgar, what would that be? Not try to knock his ass out in the first 30 seconds. <laughs> I don't know. As a fan, I kind of like that. Yeah, no, 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 it is good, but you got to understand, like, uh, you know, I should have known that he, he is a tough kid. You know, he is a tough kid. And the... There's a way to go about that. If a guy is hurt, there's a way to go about that. You know, I had hunted. I really tried to get that, that, you know, to swing hard. But it's not the punches that, it's not the hard punches that knock a guy out. It's the punches where you're not really even trying. You know, you're just kind of throwing pop, pop, pop. That's the punch that got him rocked, you know, was me just th uh, uh, throwing and then I saw he was rocked I smelled blood and then I started head hunting really trying to throw him um, you know so uh, it gets you tired out and um, you know just just uh, change up a couple things but I'll be prepared for him Great man Dave Farah thanks for watching MMA 30 and good luck man good to talk to you as always thanks brother appreciate it I'm here at the gun store and I'm ready to lock and load. They say what happens here stays here. So how about something you'll never forget? This is the adult Disney World right here. Like hitting up the shooting range just a few miles off the strip at the one and only gun store. I've never shot a gun before, yeah, so... Uh, this is going to be great. You're going to yeah. like learning to drive at the Indy 500. Turns out, I'm a natural. Oh, whoa! That is awesome! <laughs> right. <laughs> Machine yeah. <laughs> guns, rifles, block, no weapon off limits. This is probably one of the very few places in the world you can shoot one of these without having someone shoot back at you. Never shot a gun before? No problem. There's no license required by you. You just have to be big enough. Perfect for bachelor or bachelorette parties. Lots of packages to choose from. There's even a VIP range. We give refreshments. It's mm -hmm. private. It's quiet. Purchase your own at the gun store or just stop by for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Come right on down here. We'll put a gun in your hand. You can be on a range and then in 15, 20 minutes. No problem. I love it.